Hello everybody, this is Michael. In this video, we will present another way to implement the vending machine uh, in Verilog. Okay, so, so this is uh, a black system black box and we get it from the previous videos. So if you think the vending machine solution in C language, uh, you probably will create a function like this. So this is define, define monthly, collect, nickel out, time out, dispensal, and vending machine. This is like a C language to handle the vending machine problem issue. And then the nickel in, dime in, and quarter in. And you first uh, probably you will calculate the uh, money to plus together, and uh, this nickel is five cents, ten cents, twenty five cents. So if the money greater than thirty five cents, and then we will collect uh, the coin and uh, output a drink, and then minus twenty um thirty five. Then if the collector is one, and uh, if the left money greater than twenty. So we retain the change time, one time change, and the one time change is 10 cents. And then if greater, and then we minus 10 again, and if it's still greater than 10, then we make the time out again. So it means retain the change again. Uh, similarly, we handle it like here. However, in the web log, we also have the similar solution because the Verilog is very similar C language. Okay, first we sample the uh, uh, system question first. So we use nickel as a basic unit. So it means one nickel, five cents. And uh, one dime is two nickel, 10 cents. One quarter is 25 cents. It means five nickel. Okay, so uh, it means so we need uh, here we need a seven nickel to get one drink, right? Okay. So we will get the, our variable code like this. Okay, here is the variable code. Make it more readable places. So this is a very rock call. And the input, here is the input. This is output exactly like the previous uh, video. So we added one more register variable, leak number, nickel number, nickel number, and the return change, whether it need return or not. So this is a block, uh, always block. When it, when it reset, we reset all the variable is Zero, and then one nickel in. If the nickel uh, trigger, then we get one nickel. Get one nickel. If the time trigger, we get two nickel. If the quarter trigger, we get five nickel. So if the nickel number greater than seven, great or equal to equal to seven, so we will we will uh, output a drink here. And the collector is also make it high, means we collected coins. And then minus seven, we will get the left nickels. Okay, so when the when the when the collector is a one means uh it greater than seven. So we will go to see whether it's greater than two or not. Greater than two means then we needed to retain the change to uh, retain the change. Here is because the dime we only retain a dime for one time, one time one dime, one time one dime. So this is one, and then we uh, minus two, and and then uh, we will see. Okay, here should be minus here should be minus one because 
is uh, here should be minus two because this is uh, time. Uh, uh, if we return the change time, then it will be ten cents is two nickels. So the return change we make it one, and here, so when the still great then um. Okay, when the nickel equal to one, and then we make the nickel output. So it means we return one nickel's change, and uh, so uh, so this is a variable call. Let's simulate. Let's see, simulate it. Take a look. Okay, here. And the simulate. Uh, we using the exactly, exactly the um, simulation test bench, test bench uh, from the last video, and we see the waveform first. Okay, so so this is a uh, this is a test bench exactly exactly uh, the same with the last video. Okay, five, ten, twenty-five, and uh, let's take a look at the waveform. So here it is the uh, waveform exactly. When the 5, 10, and 25 uh, trigger together, we will get the uh, uh, collector, nickel out, time out, dispensable. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you. Uh, hope you will support us and subscribe us. Thank you.